All right, so now you have purchased the bike you want to get for your kid. You have all the gear, the helmet, the boots, and the gloves, and any of the riding gear that you feel he, he needs as well. Now it's time to go get some experience on the bike. So like I said, if your kid's ridden a Strider bike, you can ride a pedal bike, he can ride a dirt bike. Um, I started my kids on a CR50 Honda four stroke, and that's kind of how we started. And I wish I would have learned what I know now to help my kid gain confidence on the bike. So the first thing to do, or the first thing to teach your kid is where the brakes are. So you want to make sure that he knows how to stop. If he knows how to stop, it'll help a ton with his confidence and his, his overall enjoyment with the riding. So with a Honda or a Yamaha little uh, 50, they're going to have a front and a rear brake. So one of the rear, on the rear and then one up on the handlebars as well. So as you can see, there's a brake here. And then on the other side, there is the rear brake. So front brake up here, rear brake down there. And so what I would recommend is getting mom or dad or dad or mom or a friend. So two adults and basically go to a place where it's a wide open, there's no rocks, it's just kind of a flat spot, maybe like a, your backyard or a park or something like that. Uh, don't do pavement. You can if you don't have anything, but uh, uh, you know, I would recommend having it you know, uh, you know, maybe 50 yards or less where you have one adult stand on one side and the other adult stand on the other side. And what you're gonna do is try to get them to practice braking and you tell your child to essentially go straight using the throttle going straight to the other parent or a person and stop right in front of them and to use the both brakes the rear and the front brake and you know teach them that if they jam on the front brake it's going to do this but at the same time all of the stopping power is in your front brake so teach them how to use both at the same time um, if they're not getting that, just tell them to stomp on the rear brake at first and teach them how to go and stop right in front of that person. And then the adult would help them turn around and do that until they feel comfortable. And then you have them start turning the bike around themselves. Another little tip or trick is with these little Honda and uh, Yamaha 50s, there are three speed uh, semi-automatic transmission and first gear is a little bit snappy. And so they can kind of tend to get throttle. Uh, the throttle stuck or what they call whiskey throttle a lot easier. So what you do is click it into second gear. Second gear has a more tame but broader uh, you know, gear or power band as well. So it's gonna be able to pull a little bit longer but not snap and rip their arms off or make them feel uncomfortable. So shift it to second gear as well. And then once they learn how to stop, then it's gonna teach them how to basically turn and keep their feet on the pegs. And so you can set up cones or little obstacles to help them turn and then you know practice the braking and so forth. And then finding a uphill and a downhill and teaching them what to do going uphill and then what, going, what to do going downhill. And the best thing to do is to teach the kid to stand up. But with these little Honda and Yamaha 50s that are harder to stand up on, they're a little lower in center of uh, gravity and it's a little bit more difficult, but standing up is the best technique. It's the way it keeps the right balance on the bike. So if you can teach them to stand up and brake and everything, that is something that you should practice. And typically with my kids, I would go do a fun ride where I wouldn't beat them up and let them do whatever they want with their bad behavior. And then I would go and say, all right, now we're gonna practice. And you go and practice standing up and it slowly allows your kids to stand up and their strength in their legs and their lower back to be able to, to ride standing up. Um, but ultimately the goal is for the kid to have fun and enjoy themselves. One thing to remember is like I mentioned, if you're teaching your kid to go up and down hills, a lot of times a lot of kids when they're going down hills, they get nervous, which is normal, but then they take their legs off the pegs. Well, what happens is a lot of them don't know how to use the, the front brake well enough to, to, to be able to get the, the bike to stop and efficiently without it t tipping over or grabbing too tight and, and wrecking the bike. But once they have their feet off the pegs, they, they can't cover their rear brake. And so they're doing this paddle thing down and then the bike just gets going faster and faster and it gets scarier and scarier. So you know that's why I recommend teaching them how to brake downhill or they apply the, 
the rear brake first and then slowly pull in the, the front just to see how it feels as well. So get them used to the bike, teach them how to turn it off. You know, with these little, uh, these little Hondas and Yamahas, they're gonna have a kill switch. So, and tell them it's okay to tip over because you're gonna tip over. And a lot of times they'll tip over, they won't know what to do and the bike's throttles, you know, revving out and it's stuck in the dirt and it's scaring them. Just tell them to reach over and hit the kill switch until you know, you can go them over and help them pick the bike up or teach them how to pick the bike up as well. So I started my uh, boy, I think he was around three and a half when he started on his little Honda CRF 50. My daughter was a little bit older. She was around seven. And so they both have ridden the bike and then they progressed. So we had that uh, CRF 50 for a long time and I had two of them and my daughter and my boy rode them my daughter wasn't as, is not as interested. She likes it only when we're camping or with friends. And, but my boy loves it. He begs to go all the time. And so we spend a lot of time riding together. And that kind of leads into, well, what bikes should we progress to? So that's something else we're going to talk about in the next video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscription button. Comment below if you have any uh, additional training or th you know skills that you've taught your children as they learned how to dirt bike or if you have any questions and you're just getting started let me know in the comments below all right thanks for watching guys